So now I'm going to continue on and um, share some of the features and functionalities within the develop area. So this area here is where you're going to find all of your professional development resources. Uh, so those are going to include the courses and modules as well as the integrator reliability certification. So we'll start with this page here, which is all of the courses that you have available to you. Um, so you'll see there are um, some that are free, which are the ones that you have access to. And if you see anything that has um, credits with it, those are the ones that require additional, excuse me, additional subscriptions that we don't have. Um, so you only have access to the free ones. However, the free ones are incredibly helpful. So the ones that you have are introducing my teaching strategies, objectives for development and learning, gold introduction, and getting to know the creative curriculum for preschool. So the way that these are all designed is they are designed as there's individual little modules. I'm going to kind of just show you what one looks like. Um, it's broken down into modules that are interactive, they're participatory. Um, so it's not just it talking at you, it really helps you apply the knowledge. And so you'll see here it's broken down into 10, 15 minute little, um, little modules. So they're really easy to complete. And you'll see here there are, um, there's an application part of some of them. So it gives you a whole lot of detailed information and they also allow you to apply that information. So none of these are required um, to be completed. However, if you have any questions or you're unsure or you just want to get a better understanding of teaching strategies or the creative curriculum or how those two work together, this is a really good place to start to um, you know to do some of these modules and get more information from here. So the second part of the develop tab that I want to talk about is the iterator reliability certification. So what this is is it's a certification that all lead teachers are required to have where you will be given three child profiles um, of fictitious children you will rate those three children similarly to how you will your own during your checkpoints. So it's going to look just like a checkpoint. And the point of the certification is you will level and rate these children based on the documentation that is provided. And then your answers and your responses will be compared with those of Teaching Strategies Master Raters. And the point of this is to make sure that looking at the documentation that if you know you are looking at the same thing that I'm looking at, that we should be leveling and rating these children at the same place. Um, and so that is why they want to make sure that you are in agreement with teaching strategies, master raters, at least 80% of the time. As like I mentioned, this is a requirement for all lead teachers. One of the policies that has changed is that if you are a lead teacher, and you do not currently have your certification, um, so they are due in April, it is required that you have at least attempted, attempted the certification by mid-January. So what attempted means is if you look here, and I'm gonna go into this in a little bit more detail in just a moment, but you'll see there's 18 different individual sections. There are the six areas, uh, in which you'll be doing the leveling, and then there are three children. So attempted means that you have to have had to attempt at least a third of the, the certification. So you can do all, uh, all of the areas for Lauren, and that would be six of these 18 areas, and that would constitute as attempted. You could also do, let's say you wanna do all three children, you can do all three children in social emotional and all three children in physical, and you have completed six of the 18 areas. So the requirement is that you have attempted at least a third of the certification by mid-January. And those specific dates will be included on the teacher calendar that you receive from the partnership. So the way that the certification works in order to start it is you'll click, like I did here, on the Integrator Reliability tab. You'll click New Certification. It's going to ask you just to certify that you are the person taking this test, this certification. Um, mine will not allow me to, um, 
there we go, it's loading. Um, mine will not allow me to start a new certification because as you can see on my screen, I have one in process that I've been using for um, demonstrative purposes. So, um, but I do want to just show you, so you have all these different age group options. You will be selecting this, preschool slash pre-K. Um, if you do your certification in any of these other areas, I'm so sorry, that will not, uh, that will not be considered a valid certificate. You need your certificate to be in the preschool pre-K age range. So you'll have a, a button, instead of saying continue certification, yours will say begin certification. So like you see here, it looks very similar to your checkpoints. Um, and I'm going to start on one that I have not already um, began with. So you'll click on each objective. And what you'll see is that for those three children, you are given pieces of documentation. So there'll be notes, there'll be videos. Um, there'll be some photos. There'll be a bunch, see here, some photos. And so you'll see that there are the pieces of documentation for all three of these fictitious children, these fake child profiles, so there's Ethan, Lauren, and Melvin. So based on the documentation that you see, you will level and now look at the indicators for Ethan and then do the same for Lauren and the same for Melvin. And again, so you'll do this, you'll have to go through each area um, and once each area has been completed and finalized, that is when you will see whether you have passed or you have not. So you will see um, when you have passed all areas, you'll see here, you'll have green check marks in all 18 of the circles. And you will be awarded your training certificate here, which will be submitted to the partnership. Uh, I'm not going to get into the, the nitty gritty of the logistics of completing it and you know, the best practices, things like that. I will provide some additional professional development surrounding that, um, but just not in this webinar. So this was just a brief overview of how to complete the Interrater Reliability Certification. And I'm just making sure that you understand that all lead teachers are required to have this. Um, it is, the certification is due in April and you must have attempted at least one third of it by mid-January.